Now that we have the 9bot S set up, I've actually gone through and already ridden the five miles to remove the limited mode from the device. So now let me show you what it's typically like to ride the device. So it's pretty heavy to carry around, um, but not too bad that I can easily move it around. So when you are using this device, you can tilt this left and right to turn left and right. The only balancing you need to do is forward or back to check your balance. So for a first time rider, you may want somebody to help you get balanced, but it's very simple to do um, after you get the hang of it. So I really like how fast this turns on. You just press the button right there and then it turns on and it self balances. There are some arrows indicating which direction is forward. So that's really nice to have. And then to stand on this, I usually just place one foot on and then I place the second foot on just like that and I'm fully balanced and I can start using the device. So to move forward and back, all I need to do is slightly tilt forward and then I can slightly tilt back. So this is a really great experience, very simple to balance. Some of the other hoverboards that I've used in the past were very scary to ride because each foot was separate. So if you wanted to turn, you'd have to go up and down or they both have to be forward and it was a very scary experience. Where this is very simple to use. I just need to stand and it's perfectly balanced. If I wanna move forward, I just simply tilt forward a little bit or move my feet forward a little bit and then back, um, I do the same. And it's really just kind of moving your body a tiny bit. Now, when I want to turn, like I said, um, you have this bar here in the middle and to turn right, all I need to do is push it to the right. If I want to go left, I just push it to the left. And then I can quickly do a 360 just like that. Very simple to do. Now, using this has been a really great experience. The only problem that I have every once in a while is if I want to go forward and turn at the same time, kind of like this or go backwards. So usually whenever I'm writing this, I'm going forward and I'm just doing a slight turn um, at the same time. Or if not, you can just go forward, back and forward, and then you can use this to turn the direction you need to go. So let's drive around. I'll show you a bit how easy this is to use. And you can see the speed that I have. Um, I believe it can go 13.7 miles on a single charge. And then we'll get into some of the features that you can use with the application. Here we go. So you can see it's actually not too difficult to be going forward, turning around loops, going up hills. So when you are riding, when you hit maximum speed, it will automatically start to beep and have you tilt your feet back to slow you down. Um, at first, when you're getting used to it, it's a little annoying, but then you kind of learn how fast you need to be going. The 9-bot motor is also very quiet. You'll just hear a slight hum as I pass by. Now, the durability is very strong on the device. The only problem is sometimes I hear the flaps above the tires rattle a little bit when I was going too fast. Now, even though the charging port does have a little flap to protect against water, the device is not water resistant. So avoid puddles as much as possible. While riding the device around, I've actually been very confident in going forward pretty fast, backward, and turning left and right. A few of the problems that I've had is going up a hill and turning at the same time, or actually when there's a little bump in the road. So I found only a tiny bit of lip I'm able to go over, but if it's too much, I will have to get off um, so that I don't fall off the device. And then turning down hills, you just gotta make sure that you're going slow enough and that you slowly turn at the same time. The manual does state that you can go up slopes up to 15 degrees, so this ramp that I found is a little bit more, but uh, with a little bit of work, I was able to get up to the top. And that goes for the same while coming down a hill as well. If you're going down and turning, just slow down a bit more and then complete the turn.